how much does it cost to have a lawyer be the executor of your will? The lawyer is not acting in your capacity as a lawyer. They're acting in capacity as the executor. So they're mm -hmm. typically going to be compensated based on what an executor would normally earn. In Georgia law, that actually is like codified. It's like 2.5% of what they gather, 2.5% of what they distribute. Really? Um, okay, so the executor gets paid from the estate. Like Being executor this, sucks. Yes. You should get paid. It's, yeah. yeah, it's a lot of work. Yeah. The lawyer may be able to get additional compensation for the stuff they do as a lawyer, but they would have to very carefully compartmentalize it. And honestly, I would... Generally, there's a, there's a thing called extraordinary compensation you're going to ask the court for. I would ask the court to approve the compensation before I did it and someone got pissed at me. When you're selecting an executor, um, is a lawyer a good person to select? Or? It can yeah. be. I think it would need to be a lawyer who it knows what a, they're doing. Yeah, yeah exa exactly. It'd be a, it could be a lawyer, preferably a lawyer who did not write the will, mm -hmm. just in case there's a conflict of interest. And so if it's like a longer term thing, it might also make sense to make sure the person you're asking has some kind of financial literacy as well. Yes. Because um, that's another part of it, too, is, is they get a percentage of what comes in, a percentage of what goes out, and I believe any income that is – is it income generated by property that they're managing? They get an Something additional like percentage? Yeah, it's like wow. – I think, it's, I think yeah. it's 3%. So basically it's like you get paid based on how much work you're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, it's, and the it's, amount of work you're doing is based on the amount of money. It's commensurate to work. And yeah. A lot of lawyers will not accept estates that are small states because the smallest state and the biggest state are often the same amount of work. Right. A ten thousand dollar state and a ten million dollar state have a lot of the same work qualities, except one pays you, one can pay you more than the other. And, and usually, in those small states, it typically also is people want their money faster because they yeah. need it. Yeah, exactly. One suggestion that I've heard you make multiple times is like you do not want a um, emotionally attached, involved person um, as the executor That's of correct. the estate. Um, so if you're not suggesting a lawyer primarily, it could be right? a lawyer. Um, but let's say the estate's pretty small. Who would you suggest instead For of a super lawyer? Super small estates, I'm okay with family members, but there's a dynamic that you have to recognize. And I think if you are going to have to put one of your kids as your executor, it makes sense if your family situation allows to just have a nice, straightforward conversation yes. about the decision you're making. Get consensus. And, you know, like, like what what does this decision mean and, and what does it not mean, right? So like, it means that we're asking this person to be the ex executor. It does not mean that they're our favorite. Or does, is, does that mean know. they're getting more money? Oh, they might get right. more money. Cause they, it it, it also doesn't mean, yeah. Like it, it doesn't, so a lot of times they think it'll, they're waiving their inheritance. Like, no, no, no. They're just in charge. You will right. get your part of the estate. Mm -hmm. That's what the will or whatever says, but it can also be like they might get an executor's fees. Mm -hmm. If you're if you have like twelve year old kids who are fighting over the biggest piece of cake, there's a good chance that when they're seventy, they're going to be fighting over the biggest piece of cake. Right, and that dynamic will carry over into a probate. So that's the main reason. Like I usually recommend as someone dispassionate, but if they're on the same page and stuff like that, then sure. But for bigger things, or particularly for things where you're managing young children or longer term things and you're going to want to get professional in. And, and for a trustee, there's corporations that literally do it. You can go like a U.S. trust, Northern trust, um, mm -hmm. any like a lot of companies with the word trust in them are literally full time trustees. Cool. Um, and they would they do that for a fee, but the fee is that they're, the upside of their service is that they're also tied to investment banks so that they can actually grow the body of the trust. Oh, that's cool. Right. So if it takes a while to actually to administer the estate and to probate everything, they can actually be doing yeah. something with that money and, to help it grow. And they that's are cool. professionals. They'll get your, you get the annual reports, you get this and that. Right. They won't breach your fiduciary duty on all that good. And they do, they have a ton of insurance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If yeah. you don't know what you're doing, it's it can be very difficult. And if mm -hmm. you know what you're doing, it can be very straightforward. Mm -hmm. So yes. there, it's, it's just like how you go to an attorney who does estate plans for your estate plan, right? You, you go to someone who knows what they're doing and it's much easier for them to do it right. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, let us know. Guys, we created a PDF um, that explains all of the mistakes that you should avoid when thinking about planning your estate. James and Steven wrote it. Um, it is filled with experiences of you know mistakes that we've seen people go through. Um, if you do nothing else regarding planning your estate, make sure you read this PDF. It is the first link in the description. It is totally free. Go there and get it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.